All right, guys. So here with a little bit of a build update and just kind of like giving giving you guys a rundown on some of the parts I have and my plans because eventually I have to get kicking on some of this. Just haven't really been feeling too motivated on any of it, but I've got I've got some parts sitting here and ready to go. So this is just like the start. So I did tear up my other Pro Watercraft nozzle. And he sent me another one for free because it's all like warranty and stuff. Like they're really awesome. So this one actually has a uh, like a little little piece that the screw rides inside of, so it's less likely to have any issues. And then it also has like some quick steer fins inside. So that's pretty cool. So I got that. That was free, and I've had that for a minute, but just have been saving it because. Uh, I was just waiting to get some more parts stocked up. So then, another Pro Watercraft piece, another pump stuffer. This one's for the flat deck. So that thing was already, like, pretty ridiculously fast. So I figure this thing, good two, three more miles an hour. And that'll help a lot, get a little bit more speed out of it and stuff. So, bought this, and then I got the one with the cut in it. You can get it without the cut, but... If you're going to have your drive line out, and that's a much easier option. But in my case, I didn't want to have to take the whole bulkhead support out and have to mess with all that. So I got the one with the cut in it. So that's, that's that. And then we've got something like less, a little bit less exciting. Just some crank seals from Watcon. If you're going to get crank seals, I recommend the Watcon ones because... I've talked to the guy on multiple occasions, and I know that he has solid stuff that isn't going to give you problems down the line. So I've got some Wacom crank seals for the flat deck. So that it's fresh for the season, and I'm still kind of thinking about doing the red skis crank seals just because it got a little bit of metal flake in it from the flywheel coming apart. So I haven't really decided what to do yet, but I might have to order another set of seals for that thing. And then... This thing's kind of cool. It's a piston pin removal tool, so it takes like the wrist pin out of the piston without you having to like hammer on it or anything to knock it out and maybe damage the bearings on the crank. So I got that because I'm going to be taking apart my flat deck engine that I just put that fresh top end on and maybe my other uh, engine for my red ski. So I figured may as well invest in this because it wasn't too expensive and every time I take those wrist pins out they're always stuck in there so they always give me some trouble so I got that and then this thing's kinda cool it's a uh, it's like a pull lock so that you do not have to mess around with the strap and everything every single time that you want to put your pole down so it sits like this and then it's held against the ski and then when you want to put your pull whoops when you want to put your pull up you just slide this right inside and then you can just let your strap kind of hang off to the side or make a little hook on the steering plate the sub plate so this is a cool little piece here this is from wax racing oh and this is from what kind of also if you're interested in that but this is from wax racing it was like I think uh, I don't even remember actually how much this was, but it wasn't too expensive, and it's kind of a cool little piece. So he brought these back, like redesigned them. It does have the Water Dog logo on it, but that was because of a mix-up in like manufacturing, I guess. But anyways, he brought these back, which is kind of cool because you really couldn't find these very much. A lot of them were like broken or people weren't selling them. So it's cool that he brought these back. So I bought one of those for my Red Ski. And if you're interested in those, his website is Wax Racing Products, and he has a bunch of cool, like, GoPro mount and a few, like, rear sponsons, all that kind of stuff. So you can go check that out. And then the final thing that I'm probably the most excited about are these Pro Watercraft rear cap replacements, I guess. So they go on the rear cap of the ski that you can actually remove those and then replace them with these for more grip in turns and stuff so 
I got these and then this one has the hole cut out so if you do have an SX model with a rear exhaust you can still get these and it's all set up for you so yeah I got those those are pretty rad and just the hardware that comes with them and just if you do get these make sure to buy a bottle of silicone because he just sells the silicone on his website and it's good and I've used it with everything I've installed from him so make sure you buy some silicone but I'm pretty excited to try these out because I'll have the Sponsons that ride plate review I'm going to post soon I thought I posted it but I guess I completely forgot about it so I will be posting a review on that Jet Dynamics ride plate and then also with these so it should be a pretty it already handled really well but it should be even better with these so I'm pretty excited to just make that thing a real handling machine but so yeah this is just kind of the situation with these and I have to basically get the motivation to tear that flat deck completely apart again and get the engine out mess with that so anyways that's kind of my update for today and I'll get back with you guys with some more tech stuff and updates in the next one. See ya.